Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Europe Universalis for extended time. It has been a long time since I've played this mod, and I think the last time was as Italy in the Third Rome. And this is the Make America British Again campaign, which was a meme, like a type of meme and, or like a joke going around at the time of the American election. Um, so yeah, we're going to be playing it. The per Prussian update has just come out, as you can tell. Um, not the Prussia, sorry, the Denmark update, and uh, we're going to be playing as Britain, and we're going to be trying to invade the behemoth that is America. This may take quite a few parts, but I will fucking do it. America's sovereignty, they don't deserve it anymore. They need, to, they, need to be, they need to be cut down and have their sovereignty taken from them, because they're a giant bunch of babies. <sighs> they need good old colonial rule again. So that's, what, that's the aim of this Let's Play. This Let's Play was technically... Given to me by Kogarth. I can't remember his full name, but I will link him in the description if you guys want to go watch him. He is a good YouTuber, and I would recommend him for whatever series he does. I really don't know at the moment. I haven't seen his video, current video, so because he he's a very he's a uni student or a college student. He's American, so yeah, his very his stuff varies, but his stuff is very good and it's of good quality. So I would go rec I would recommend going to watch him. Uh, so let's just um, let's set everything up. So. First things first, obviously, we need to destroy, uh, like, we need to destroy these dickheads. And we're going to end and rival everyone who's rivaled us in the exact order they rivaled me. Wait, Canada? The fuck did I do to you, you cheeky cunts? Apart from, I'll probably rule you too hard, ride you a bit much. I'm going to shut up. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this, uh, we have just literally got the Denmark update today. Uh, well, t yeah, day of the recording. This is going to be updated today, tomorrow in place of a... Uh, Mountain Blade series because um, Mountain Blade got a bit stale and um, I'm going. I'm doing this because I don't want to be playing a game where I'm not enjoying myself. So I'm going to do this. Anyway, we need to. Oh, we got some missions. We can found the East Indian Trade Company. Oh, sorry, the Indian Trade Company. Go on then. Why not? Starting a space program. Even the EU. We technically should have done that by now. Now I'm joking. We haven't written Article 50 yet. Therefore, it's not actually in effect. Rule, uh, rule the seas. Um, Wait, 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 rule the seas, have less heavy ships, end known country, oh, so basically I need to have more, right, that, it's just written differently, that's fine. So we have all the parties in the world, and I will be going National Socialist, because if we're going to make America British again, we need the military might of the fascism, which sounds really good, they have 7,600,000, what, 760,000 men. 7.6 would, would have incurred millions, but no, they're not They're not that strong. And their ships? Well, as more, any, any man knows, the American Navy today is one of the biggest navies in the world, so I'm not going to even pretend that I can hold a candle to the uh, American Navy in my current state. So we need, to <laughs> we need to rectify this. So the first couple of parts are basically going to be building a shit ton of stuff. Uh, military, like we need, we need uh, defensive ideas for the extra morale. Uh, basically, I'm just going to be piling the military ideas. Quantity, going to need um, naval ideas. We'll need that expansion. Well, yeah, that's a bit useless. No, actually, is it? No, we'll get rid of the exploration. Oh, no, that gives me global tariffs. That gives me nice stuff. Actually, the only nice thing from that is, um, yeah, I don't really, I'm not really too. Yeah, we'll keep that. We'll, we'll deal with these ideas for now. Uh, we can build. So, we're going to need training fields because we we've need. we only got 100,000 manpower. That ain't enough. We're going to need in the manpower in the millions, which means we're going to be wasting all of our income early on in getting this. Now, extended timeline hopefully has changed a lot since I last played it because when I last played it, it was a bit shit. I mean, it was a bit the same. Sorry, what? What's this? Uh, currently hiding from enemy fleets that are too strong. Why the f- no, just get out, you cunt! Oh, it's probably an ended at the start of time. Well, we only have 9,000 tanks. Or, yeah, 9,000 tanks would be accurate. Um, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a 20, 20... Actually, no, no, we're going to go 25, 20, and then 20. Because um, I have decided. 
Um, I don't know why we're going for that, but we are. So let's start on free speed. Uh, of course, we should exploit this. And the first couple turns are going to be laggy because there's going to be alliance everywhere. Uh, we need to get an alliance with Germany, definitely. Haiti can fuck off. Yeah, the UK, uh, the United States is only dwarfed by that. And we're not even a great power. Holy fuck. Indonesia is a bigger power than me at the moment. The actual fuck. Oh, yeah, we have the worst in Gibraltar. I forgot about that. We need people in our improved relations and morale of armies, definitely. So currently, we have Queen Elizabeth of Windsor, who is a charismatic negotiator. She's strict, but she's a possessive perfectionist. I don't know if I agree with all that, but then again, I really don't give a fuck about the royal family, so I don't really care. So, yes, we're going to be using wielding armies of great size. Jamaica, we will not ally with. Brazil is probably the biggest American power, but Mexico and Brazil both hate me. Belgium, you're a little bit too small for my taste, and I intend to take you over to gain myself more land and power. Uh, I will garner in Italy as my extra ally in the Europe. In the Europe, wow, that was that was a fuck up. We have a we have a free merchant, so yeah, I'm probably gonna say I'm probably merchandising the fuck out of this land. Why am I? Currently moving it to Chesapeake Bay and not Bordeaux. Okay. Because we're not working in Bordeaux at all. So let's um let's change that. So we can get people in Bordeaux and then we'll move them up to here and then we'll move them to uh the uh, uh English Channel. So price of slaves changed from forty percent, that's that makes sense. Didn't even know we had slaves still. I'm just gonna say I'm pretty sure we're they're illegal at this point. Now China or China would you like an alliance? Because uh, we both hate America. No? No, okay. You, you obviously hate America more than me. I'll let you off. Apparently there's 2,000 cav in that. So I'm actually going to shift those out and move them to my other army. Um, so we need to build up these armies. How big is my manpower pool? 132,000. That's not enough. God is with child. Okay, game, you'd like to revolt against me? That is fine. We will just send the... We'll send our entire military armed forces to deal with this. We have stability problems. We should probably get the stability up as high as possible, as quick as possible. Our entire military is fighting them, and uh, we still seem to be having problems. No royal marriages for me, thank you, game. So what do I need to boost the fascists? I need military power. So we're going to boost the fascists. I mean, I played fascists last time I played this, but... As I'm going for a specific goal, I feel as if the, mean, the ends justify the means. Because the fascist party are based... Well, they're not the fascist party, but you know what I mean. They are the... They're the best at what they do. Like, in the sense of... For what I'm trying to achieve with this Let's Play. Taking over America requires some fucking bollocks. And, uh... The fascist will probably have the bollocks I need. And by have, I mean strength. And they'll, they'll, they'll increase Britain to a... Amazing, amazingly strength uh, republic. And my army is getting destroyed by my, like, the current fucking people. Like, my rebels. So my uh, rebels, my army, 52,000 men just got destroyed by an army smaller than them. Adopt the euro? Yeah, fucked. I am not adopting the euro. I will leave the EU eventually. Why are our men so bad? So it seems that with the British, we start with very shitty men at the moment. And um, we need to start a debate. So I'm going to start a debate for... Sailors, why not? Military support? Yeah, I ain't given 160 military power when I need to... Um, I need to boost the social nationalists. And the nationalists, they only need... They only need 50 and we can just become a fascist dictatorship. Our stability is ready for it. Look at it. It's, it's just it's, fascism is beautiful in this game. In real life, nah, not really my type of thing. I'm the, I'm not my. It's not my type of cup of tea to be generally racist. I'm a nationalist in a sense, but I would never convey putting down people of other races or stuff like that. That's a bit fucking. That's a bit far fetched. There we go. We're now a fascist dictatorship. We've kicked. We've got. Oh, Charles of Windsor has decided he is the fascist. 
He's like, oh, I'm, I'm, oh, we're going to be fascists, yeah, oh, oh. I'm old and dumb, and I don't know what I'm talking about, and I'm slightly racist as it is, like my father. Sorry, um, don't know where I was going with that. Oh, no, I, I knew exactly where I was going with that. Yeah, he's definitely, definitely a racist. We had St. Helena. Okay. Okay, um... Saint oh, I can't make you a client today. Oh, well. So, yeah, manpower should be less of a problem at this exact second. But then again, every province is going to give us so much manpower that it's just amazing. And with the quality ideas, we that's like one of the first things we need to boost. I'm actually going to boost military income just so that I can get some of these uh, guys up because they cost 380. And the national manpower modifier is going to make our manpower per month even faster. Also, turn off the fucking fort. Didn't increase my income by that much. Oh well. I turned up my fleet maintenance, it was. I'm going to mothball the British fucking fleet because fuck you, fuck you all. Who, who needs a fucking good fleet when I can make 205 gold a month or pounds a month? 205 pounds a month is not that much. That's really shit actually for an income. I feel like we definitely need to take Ireland out. Oh, they're allied to fucking Spain. Oh, oh what the fuck, Spain. Like, they're part of Great Britain. Do not fucking argue with me. You have 81,000. You cannot stop the fascist dictatorship that is Great Britain. Also, our Republican tradition really needs to go fucking up. Needs to go up, up, and away. And I'm going to stop being a dumbass now. We go up by one every year, so... Yeah, we need to increase that. We eclipse Canada. Does that mean I, can, I need a new... Nope, don't need a new rival. I think I mean fascist didn't give me any points. I'm kind of upset. Also, I'm not making enough manpower. Kind of feel like I should build some coal power plants. Because... Yeah, they're expensive, but they, they look like they provide a good income. Same with fucking tax assessors. Jesus Christ, that's some good income. Roads. Even roads help trade, so I mean... Once we're done with manpower, we can actually get our income up. Uh, yeah, Scotland doesn't seem to want to provide much to the war machine. That is Great Britain. Um, so yeah, we'll accept that. Um, the Netherlands, you're going to be allied with a shit ton. Uh, you're either Germany and Luxembourg, Belgium's Austria, France, fucking Luxembourg, uh, Portugal again. Spain is going to be the biggest problem for me at the moment because obviously they're in my way. But they're they're blocking access to Portugal and well, basically Iceland. Iceland is allied by no one. Oh, that's Danish. Fuck you, game. If I could attack Denmark, uh, Iceland, that's it's free stuff. Denmark is allied to Sweden, Norway, and Poland. Poland is a decent strength, so I'm not going to fuck with him. Do we have leaders to begin with? We don't. Let's get some very British leaders. Thomas Salisbury. Yas. Alright, so we're going to make America British again, event somehow. It's going to be fucking glorious when it happens. Okay, the British Isles have been upgraded with that for now. So tax assessors are 255. Cathedrals, not really worth the money they're worth. Plus 6% modifier, though, that's definitely worth it. So that's what we're going to build. We also need to get some conscription centers so we can um, have more than 277,000. Because we're going to fucking need it. What armies are Germany walking around with? 72,000 stacks. I mean up to you. Um, yeah, you got, I need to get my manpower a bit higher before I um, fuck around with that. Yeah. Getting some factories would be a good idea. Actually, factories would probably be one of the better ideas. Yeah. I think I'll get... Actually, no, tax assessors are cheaper and they still provide a decent upgrade. Uh, like a, a decent growth. So we'll um, build tax assessors. And the Irish will be destroyed when we can. What is this? We could enforce cultural assimilation. Nah, for now I'm good. 
Currently, we can promote 10 cult. We can accept 10 cultures. I'll promote 10. I am not accepting Welsh. Spend 50 to increase the mil. Holy shit, that's awesome. At times, of and but it goes, it goes, it goes away slowly as well. That's actually pretty cool. Oh sweet, fusion reactors. I don't need them, but fuck it. Okay, so we need we can get some of these going. Discipline, we've got some morale probably. So it's good. We'll get those in the future. For now, we will slowly again we'll slowly focus on our income. It's, this is a prelude into destroying the Americans. I'm probably gonna get a lot of shit for this, but I really don't care. It's it's too entertaining. Invest in the naval force. Yes, we will. Hopefully Germany will be very useful to us. I'm kind of upset that we don't own the Suez anymore. Suez is a beautiful canal. It's arguably 10 million times better than Panama, which, to let's be completely honest, is very small in comparison. It's just not as important. Like, in the general scheme of things, we all know the Suez is the best. Um, so it should only take about... Uh, 19 more months to get my first idea my first military uh, my expanded military I may get military drill Is there anything else that no military drill is the only thing I actually want from that We already own quality which is good offensive ideas would be nice But then again, we need to win on the sea as well. So a big navy is gonna be necessary which is why it's going to take the fucking piss to get some... Uh, which is why it's going to take a while to get to the uh, invading of America part. Because the entire British economy needs to fucking be revamped. As the American, the British economy is shit at the moment in this game and in real life. So we need to fix that. Are there any institutions in this game? Uh, this mod, sorry. Who am I kidding? Of course there is. Even Global has... Oh my fucking god, there's actually loads. From, um, what's this one? I can't even click on the first ones. Okay, anyway, uh, nanotechnology, of course. Nanobots. They are the cause of all the problems in the Metal Gear universe. Okay, so we're slowly getting more and more of the um, island, uh, Great British Isles done. I'm going to kind of just ignore my south. Okay, we own this as well. I'm just going to ignore it for now. How many states can I own? Please tell me about 200. Oh, 262. That's going to be brilliant. I should have... St everything should be stated. Yeah, everything is stated currently. So, at the moment, we just need to um, fight and we just need to build economy and then eventually attack these dickheads. After the land freed has been declared, no member of the Holy Roman Empire may take action against another- Oh, for fuck's sake. What's this? The leader must have all the power. A 406. Well, that's good enough for me. I'm getting, the, I'm getting a bit of stuff I want leveled up. And the only problem with being this is we need a shit ton of fucking points now to upgrade that. Spain declared war Morocco. So basically, I actually need to leave the EU if I want to declare war on any of these fuckers. And that's not the EU map, Joe. That's a map that could make the other game lag like fuck. So yeah. And currently, Denmark is the EU leader. Or at least that's what the game says. Oh my fucking god, Ukraine just got fucking wrecked. They could have got wrecked a few years ago. We have played for six years, so I wouldn't know. We need. To, we still need to take Ireland over, just because I want to. So let's uh, increase my stability again. We'll get it to level two stability, and then we will um, leave the EU because fuck the EU. Ugh, if I need to be, I will just attack fucking down here. Yeah, I have imperialism against these fuckers. So I'll just start taking over the Africas if I need to. Like, if I need a place to like grow. 
Levy on Moss, 354,000 manpower. That's more like it. Uh, it's uh, 25, 20, 20. So. That's 10 there. 20. Okay, so the entire the entirety of my military is being re recruited at this exact second, and uh, I'm gonna now try and uh, push my e economy up even higher. Because oh yeah, I'm not playing for this fleet. Uh, you know, I'm gonna pay for this fleet just as a um, precaution, and uh, the fact that I don't I don't trust most of the people in the world. We also need to build upgrade it anyway. Uh, discipline for ten years, just purge them. We now have no manpower. Lovely. Uh, but unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, this is the end of the first part of making America British again, and I hope you will join me in the next part. See you guys then.